Coach, about a week before we sat down to shoot this, we got the news that Graham Sullivan had signed a contract with the team in the Frontier League. Talk about that accomplishment for Graham. Well, I'm real excited for Graham. I mean, he's one of the top five hardest working kids I've ever had, and he deserves this opportunity. I know he'll make the best of it. With this year's team, I know that one of the things you're most excited about is flexibility, being able to do some different things out in the outfield. Uh, but you do return a couple of upperclassmen in the outfield in Jacob Morley and Rob Dickinson. Well, both both Rob and, and Jake give us uh, a lot of a lot of. Uh veteran time I guess you could say out in the outfield they've spent a lot of time out there in in their three and four years excuse me two and three years here and you know Rob has been an everyday center fielder for us pretty much last year his freshman year we split time with him and another person and then obviously Jake has play, played in right field almost uh, every day for the last two and a half years so you know both of those guys have seen a lot of at bats you know we're, we're very talented in, in a lot of different ways out there and, and one of the things is that we I, I really think our speed our outfield speed and our defensive play out there has as as much as, as greatly improved in the last uh, in, in this last year's recruiting class. All right, one of those members of last year's recruiting class, the freshman Gary Leclaire. Uh, I know he's expected to be on a corner along with Jordan Tarsevich. Can you just touch on those two guys? Well, Gary obviously is is, is going to get a chance to play right away for us, and, and we expect him to play right away for us. He's a he's a great player, and and he's going to get an opportunity to play. Uh, we, we expect him to be in our lineup almost every day. So he gives us a lot of speed in that lineup, and, and he also uh, is, is a very good defensive outfitter. You know, I'd, I'd probably say, you know, and I think all the baseball fans out there would say, you know, Jordan Tarsovich might be the biggest surprise for us um, from uh, last year's team. He came in this fall ready to go. He's won the left field job, uh, hit, hit in the leadoff role, can steal some bases, and, and just really uh, has done a great job. And he deserves the opportunity to be our everyday left fielder. So, you know, that gives you four right there we talked about with uh, the possibility of, uh, of, of our flexibility uh, getting better with, you know, Brandon Angus, who came in as a, as a freshman this year. And he's, uh, he's by far one of our best defensive outfielders. So he'll, he'll be plugged in late innings defensive replacement. We have Sheldon Shiflett, Brandon Diamond, and Eric Mayers are both out there as well that we can move on the corners depending on who we play and our personnel. So it just gives us a lot of flexibility to, you know, in what we're doing and, and obviously a lot of depth, with his, depth with his, which is what you want. Coach, you mentioned the speed out in the outfield with, uh, from a defensive standpoint, but do you expect the speed to also factor in offensively? Well, obviously, you know, our, our losing Sam Roberts and Justin Topping and and the guys we lost last year off the lineup, the seniors, Graham Sullivan, you know, we're going to have to do a lot of things offensively to, to score runs with these new bats and, and with, uh, with the way we're playing offense. These guys understand that. You know, there are, our freshmen this year, this first time they put, them in, put the BB core bats in their hands, so they're learning real quick. You've got to hit the ball on the ground and run. All right, Coach, thank you. Thank you.